Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Lynx and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. Now for the new people on the channel who don't know what this is, it's effectively just a game where you can build your own ships and you can send them off to various planets and explore them. Now uh, I've been a massive fan of this game for a very long time, uh, so much to the point that I make mods for it now. So I, I make planets, so this is one of the modded planets. For those of you who are subscribed for Kerbal Space Program, welcome back, it's been a very long time. Uh, so let's get right into the video. So first off, uh, I, I do want to go to another planet. I do want to go to a moon that I've reworked in one of the last updates. But uh, at the moment, I just need to rescue these two Kerbals that I kind of kind of neglected on Ash for a while. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drive up to this uh, lifter that I landed and um, we'll, we'll take them back up to the station. <laughs> go both Kerbals are on board and now all I need to do is I need to make sure I'm actually going to be taken off from the right direction yes very nice and off we go <laughs> those of you who follow the mod uh, will know what it looks like but those of you who don't and those of you who are completely new to the channel will have no idea what I'm talking about so uh, I'll put a screenshot of it right now I think I overestimated the lifter as well, <laughs> especially for Ash. This is literally just to take off from Ash and deliver three Kerbals back to the station. Yes, the station is an absolute mess. <laughs> there's modules everywhere, there's things that I've forgotten to take off and send back. There's, oh, it's, it's ridiculous how messy this station is. Of all stations, this is definitely the worst one that I have ever constructed. And I love it. <laughs> now then, I don't really have a very good way of docking this to the station. I think I, I think there's only one thing that I can do, and that's to completely get rid of this. And I've just realised that this module that I'm docking to isn't even straight either. <laughs> and docked. There we are. Look how messy this is. This is awful. Why did I... <laughs> I know you guys enjoy these launches, so here we are with yet another one. Now, this is quite an interesting rocket, which actually lacks fins. Uh, I, I didn't know that. <laughs> I'm worried about the success of this mission. I was worried about it before, but now I'm even more worried about it. Oh, you'll know if I mess this up completely. <laughs> we have a, a big lander. We have a two-stage lander in this. Hollow style, I believe. I'm not very good on the Apollo sort of style of missions, but basically there's a lander that docks to the end and that automatically makes it Apollo style in my books, so we're good. <laughs> the, the only compromise I made was I put three nuclear engines on this instead of one, so the thrust to weight ratio is actually really good, but I sacrificed probably 500 delta V for that, unfortunately, which in hindsight is probably a horrible idea, especially if I start complaining about it later on in the episode. <laughs> at the moment, I'm just focusing on getting my apoapsis fine. So we've got some guy we have to rescue here. I'm, I'm not going to do that just yet, you know, I'll, I'll do that another time. <laughs> he, he'll be fine, you know, oh, oxygen, not an issue. And I think it's time to reveal what we've got inside this. Ha! Right, so here's the transfer stage. You've got the nuclear engines there. That's what's going to take us to the uh, to Scathe and its moon. Then I've got the the lander here, and then I've got the stage that returns just there. That's the one with the heat shield. So hopefully we've got enough delta V. It'll be fine. It'll all be fine. Oh, and what a beautiful shot this is! A view of Rhodes' new beautiful visuals and the beautiful new sun flares. Oh, it is absolutely incredible. There we go. Very satisfying orbit. Fantastic. Well, that was quite easy. I got a, I got a scathe encounter without actually having to do anything. Uh, we are going via Ash, but that shouldn't affect our uh, trajectory too much. Now I've realised I've only got one Kerbal on board, and I did originally want to send this up with two. I'm not sure what happened there. I, I think when I reloaded the vessel, it filled the, the cabin to only one. All right, it's time to begin the burn. Here we go, and immediately the ship starts just going down. Oof. Hey, 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 there we go. All three nuclear engines are working absolutely fine. Yep, I don't know what happened there, but... <laughs> so I now, down here, I now have 5,800 Delta V to play with. That should be enough to land on to land on Skindo and get back. I think, I think I, I have some... I have a fair degree of confidence. Seeming that I can get an encounter with, like, 350, which will leave me with about 5,230. Give or take a bit. <laughs> It'll be fine. There we go. Look at that encounter. That is almost perfect. That is probably one of the best encounters I've gotten in quite a while. It did take quite a bit of time as well, but let's walk there. <laughs> did you ever wonder how we are going to get back from this planet? Well, well, yes, yes, I did. With a ship. 
<laughs> there we go. We are extremely close to the surface of this planet. Uh, all that I need to do now is complete this burn and we should have a, an encounter with the, the moon, which is there. There it is. There's Skindo. That's the desired parking orbit so that I can just rendezvous back with the craft. And here we go. This is new Skindo. Uh, its surface, incredibly more detailed. Uh, you can see the, <laughs> the classic rainbow textures are still there, but, you know, got to keep with the tradition, right? <laughs> Here we are, here is the moon, and my landing site for the moment is probably going to be somewhere in one of these canyons. Now there's a good spot coming up there, which is perfectly in line, but it is quite quite a, uh, quite a restrictive landing area, I need to be very careful. So I'm just going to start rearranging around the, uh, the lander now, uh, I need to somehow... Oh, oh I've spotted, I've spotted a mild issue. There is no way for me to actually dock this return stage back to the lander. So I think I might have to land the entire ship instead of doing what I was going to do originally. Um, this could be problematic to say the least. Now then, the parachutes are on this craft. So the, I have to, I can't, it's not like I can just dump the lander in any way. This nuclear stage is gone. So I might as well use it to land. There is no way that I can actually dock this back here. I should have used an actual docking port on here, like a smart person. But instead I decided, you know what, let's not be smart. The thrust to weight ratio is 7.9. Uh, so I'm, I'm kind of happy that I added the, the, the nuclear engines. So we're landing in this canyon just there. I know I have a massive thrust to weight ratio, but they're nuclear engines. They are, again, they are nuclear engines. Not only is there a, uh, a very high chance of explosion, uh, they're also not actually that good in terms of thrust to weight ratio, so a thrust to weight ratio of 7.9 is quite poor, because it was going to be 19 with that one. <laughs> oh, here we go. Ooh, we are in the canyon now. I am really just hoping that the terrain down there is flat, but this is a really good looking landing site. I'll be honest, if I tip this over, it's on me. Look how flat the area is. If I tip this over, if I mess this up, it's on me. There we go, 1.3, 1.2, 1 meter per second. Half a meter per second. Oh, boop. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> now, according to YouTube, my most recent subscriber was this guy down here called Joy. Well, Joy was here. You know, if you're watching, make yourself known in the comments. Very nice. If not, well, there you go. You've got your own flag. And if you want to be on the flag, subscribe there we go tactics tactics that's how we get views these days boys <laughs> and now my work here is done it's time to leave the canyon we'll collect all the data and all that lovely stuff and just see how satisfying it is how many experiments we actually might have now 13 and i already have over 500 signs back at road so i i think this has been a, a good mission overall and you know what, I'm not even afraid to use the RCS. I don't even need it. <laughs> I don't need the RCS anymore. Oh, I'm leaving the canyon, but it's such a gorgeous canyon. There's a good chance that I could hit some of the terrain here. I'm very glad that I was time warping. Um, yeah, I think we're gonna be all right. It looks like I've just gone over the highest point. There's the volcano's, uh, what's it? Is it a crater? What's it actually called, the top of a volcano? It's not. It's not really a basin, is it? What is it? What is it? Is it a crater? It's like, um, there it is. Oh, I should colour it a little bit differently, but at the moment, it's it's dormant, you know? It's set, it's rock, it's cool. This is the only bit that isn't actually rainbowy. Yeah, this, this does go quite low, but it doesn't go rainbowy. Anyway, I need to be paying attention to the manoeuvre because I'm about to finish it. <laughs> For those of you who do like watching it, here are the binary stars orbiting each other. Very nicely, with the new sun flares as well. Oh, that just looks beautiful. And I'll, I'll let it play long enough so that you can turn it into a gif if you want. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh. There we go. Proper, proper thrust to weight ratio now. <laughs> I sure am slowing down. Now, I, un I understand that this is an awful encounter, the reason being is I set up a perfect one and the Kerbal Space Program crashed on me. So uh, yeah, <laughs> this is what we've got to play with now. It's fine, I've got 3000 meters per second. Uh, it turns out that the if I did the maneuver properly, I wouldn't actually need this uh, extra stage, nor do I need this one, but this one has the parachutes on. But I wonder, I wonder if this stage can support the weight of a 
fully defueled, fully drained lander. I mean, this has an engine, so I can still land on that engine if the parachutes aren't good enough. So I'm going to recover the lander as well. There we go. Problem solved. No money wasted. Oh, there it is. There it is. I'm about to hit the atmosphere. There it is, in front of the new terrain as well. Oh, it, it's brilliant. <laughs> it's brilliant. You know what, we'll put the landing gear down just for the sake of it. Let's try land in this flat area. There's no point not doing that. I mean, this is a massive flat area. Am I near the pole? No, I just must be on just one of those flat areas that you find. Interesting. It's really flat. <laughs> oh, but what a sight. These new sunflares. Please do let me know what you think of them in the comments down below. I think they are bloody good. I think they are absolutely incredible. Look at that, and Lua as well. Oh. <laughs> if you're new to the channel and you still have absolutely no idea what's going on, thank you for watching this far. You know, let, let me know what you thought as well, because I'm trying to, I'm trying to branch out a little bit from Kerbal Space Program as well. I, I don't want to be trapped in there, uh, stuck doing that. You know, like, uh, Matt Lown, for example, um, he does Kerbal Space Program. He does Planet Coaster, but his Planet Coaster videos don't actually get much. I wouldn't say attention, but. People don't like them as much because he, he's primarily a KSP YouTuber. So I kind of want to branch out and play my own games and stuff. Also, there you are, the <laughs> wallpaper for you. <laughs> Unironically about to land on road. I am genuinely able to do this as well without a parachute. I'm going to quick save, obviously, because I do want to use a parachute. But like, shall we do it j just for shits and giggles? No parachute landing. You know... Ah, uh, not quite. Oh god, <laughs> that was bad. I mean, sure, the engine exploded and the the science exploded. It's just it's literally just time it. I don't think it's gonna happen, you know. But look at that. Oh, it's a, such a view as well. I'm really happy with the new uh, Kerbal Space Program 1.8 terrain shader. I feel like it really does bring out some of the terrain in this mod specifically, as well as the stock game, of course. Can't. As much as I dislike it, it you still got to give them credit, you know. So here we go. We've got a nice little view. But anyway, yeah, there we go. Let's see how much science we got from this. Oh, ha, ha, 356 science earned with a total of 889.9. Let me know in the comments if you're which which science to get, you know. Uh, yeah. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this episode. Again, if you were new here, welcome to the channel, because I know there was a lot of subscribers uh, yesterday. But um, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this episode. If you liked that, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next episode.